Good morning everyone, it's Friday. Welcome to the last Steffi show for the week. It is the 5th of April and finally it's sunny again. Stupid weather swirling around like that, dropping all that rain and hail on us. But sadly I can't go for a walk today uh, because I went out for a walk the other day and I've hurt my foot. Yes I have. Um, it, I went up a bridal way and because the bridal way is like that the whole time I think I've just twisted something in my, my big toe and I've been told to not go for a walk although I am going to Tesco's after so that'll get my steps in that way but no no rough terrain for me until probably Sunday but I'll wait until I find my toe isn't hurting as much just woke up with it uh, yesterday very very bizarre anyway you don't want to hear about that you want to hear what day it is don't you and the day today is Star Trek First Contact Day! Yes it is! Live long and prosper kids! In 300 years time, Zephram Cochran will take the Phoenix to Warp 1. And Vulcans are just sort of bimbling through the system, uh, doing a bit of survey work, didn't think anything of Earth, and then suddenly they detect a warp signature and they go, ooh, warp signature! Earth can now come along and be welcomed into the Galactic family. And they land and they they get drunk with um, Zephram and it all takes off from there. Yes, it does, kids. Watch Star Trek First Contact and you'll find out why. So, live long and prosper, kids. That's all I can say. All right, so you want a bit of blunt post action, do you? Okay, well, I'm going to go and click this button over here. Oh, hello. Move my mouse. There we go. And we're going to jump in and see... Kirsty, oh hello, my thing's not working. Yes, it is. There we are. Kirsty, Kirsty Paris from Andromeda Consulting uh, blog dot Andromeda Consulting dot uh, co dot uk, and Kirsty is ace at all things coaching and marketing with businesses. She's working with a company at the moment, and the owners are absolutely delighted with what she's doing. So it's certainly worth having a chat to Kirsty if you need to boost your business okay so this week she's talking about don't just work on in your business work on it as well you have to put time aside to work on your business or else you just get stuck in there and it's just a job isn't it you're not doing anything with your business so you're technically just working a job anyway blog.andromedaconsulting.co.uk go and have a look at what Kirsty has to say why is my mouse disappearing Right, okay, and the next one is from, that button has stopped, definitely stopped working. The next one is from Pottersbury House Restaurant. Now, I've been working with Pottersbury House for a while now. I've been blogging for them. Um, I do bits of social and stuff like that. And, you know, they really like what I do for them. Um, I'm not saying I'm the reason this is happening. I'm saying I'm probably partly the reason why this is happening. But they now are fully booked. A lot of the time in fact Mother's Day on both Saturday and Sunday they were, they were completely snowed under with people they had people ringing up saying can I book uh, a table for me and my mum and they went nope sorry can't do it we can put you on a waiting list but unfortunately the whole of Sunday was booked out with, with family roasts and the whole of Saturday was booked out with afternoon teas and that pretty much sums up how popular the Possibly House restaurant is now the food is fantastic it's all locally sourced um, it's all expertly prepared by their chefs and seasoned with uh, herbs from their own kitchen garden. What's not to like about that? And they even do all the desserts in houses. Well, they don't buy in frozen desserts. They make them themselves. So I have to say that the Pospery House restaurant is amazing. So if you go to blog dot uk, you can read more um, read more about them. And look at this. If I get my mouse over here. No, you can't see it. <laughs> you can't see it. You can't see it. Oh, look. look, look at that. There's an afternoon tea. That is amazing. Everybody gets gets one. So you turn up, and there's like five of you. You get five stacks. You get your own sandwiches. You get cakes, all homemade. You get scones and stuff. And it is absolutely amazing. It really is amaze balls with awesome sauce as well. Okay. So our last blog post today, uh, for some reason my, my stream deck is deciding not to activate the button, so I'm manually doing this on multiple screens. Our third one today is from the Black Sheep Collective, the lovely and delightful Georgia Tillery, 
um, who in partnership with Danny and a couple of other people have started the social enterprise by our Black Sheep. Uh, the main company is Black Sheep Collective. They started blogging with me and it's absolutely amazing that they've got this um, book club group. Bar Bar Book, book I can't even say it. Bar Bar Book Club, that's what it is. And they've got a challenge of 2019 that you can take part in. And there's loads of things you can do. Uh, it's all about reading at your leisure. That's the key thing. But, you know, there's loads of little rules to join the challenge. And if you're an avid reader, then I'd certainly recommend popping along to Bar Bar Black Sheep, having a lovely coffee uh, in a responsibly sourced cup as well, and some vegan cakes and the like. And then you can talk to them about the book club. It's on Wolverton Square, so it's uh, just up from the Agora. And you'll see it, you get into the square and you'll actually see it there and it is quite wonderful. So that's it for blog posts. Don't forget, it's First Contact Day. Good old Zephyrum Cochran, the unsung hero. He didn't really want to be a hero, did he? Um, and this weekend, what am I doing? Well, today I'm going to Tesco's in a little while. I want to put the bins out because, you know, that's how I roll at Steffi HQ. Um, and then this afternoon, I'm doing some work on the Black Sheet Collective website because Danny's requested some changes. Tomorrow, I'm working on my own website because remember, I'm pulling my brands back in together under the SteffiLewis.com brand because people search for Steffi Lewis. They don't search for Splog It. They search for Steffi Lewis, and that's because I do so much networking. Anyway, I'm going to leave you to it now because I'm rambling on, and it's Friday, and I want to get uh, get all my stuff. So all I'm going to say is live long and prosper, kids. Live long and prosper. And if I push this button here, I'll say ta-ta. Have a great weekend. <laughs>